All right, guys, and today we're gonna to have to gather some uh, firewood. We burnt through seven cord. It's been pretty cold this year, not a lot of precipitation, a lot of, not a lot of snow, but we burnt through seven cord. We still got some cord left. Uh, it's what we originally got when we got here. And uh, it's it, it's still not seasoned properly. It's birch and it takes um, maybe two years, 24 months, 18 months, somewhere in there to do that. We've burnt through most of the spruce. It burns real fast. The pile's empty. Today it's in the negatives. Last night it was about 30 below probably. And it's going to be that way for a minute. And that means that you got to get it. And there is four feet of snow, at least on the floor out here. And I'm going to have to go out there and cut some beetle kill standing dead because it's seasoned already. It ain't under, I can't get to anything on the floor. Uh, it is a, quite a few degrees below zero today. So I'm going to, I'm not going to be able to stand out, stay out long. I'm going to have to take uh, proper precautions. And I, um, it's really not easy to cut a, a tree standing in three foot of snow up to your waist. There's no, there's no escape. Uh, we did this last year. Corey did this last year. Uh, with the GoPro and I'm showing you again what it takes to, to, to live in Alaska and 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 not have enough wood. These are the first years. These are the first years. We don't know how to be prepared. We don't know how much wood we're going to use. I anticipate that most people will go through that as well. This is a very unique place to live and very, very challenging place to live. Uh, I'll take you through the first walk. I got to go in and put my mask on. So I'll walk you out to the first tree and show you how far that we actually sink. Then I'll come back and get the chainsaw gassed up ready. And I, I got to keep it running or I got to put it up or it won't run no more until it defrosts. I got my face gator on, my hat and my hood up. And we're going to go ahead and take that walk. I have to uh, flip the camera around, put my other gloved hand on. And I'll take you for that walk out to that tree out there. Got to mash a little path out here and everything and get get all that done and then i can make the cut drop the tree and bring it back to the wood pile we're gonna have to walk up here now you're gonna see the elevation this is one of the snow push-offs we've only had a few feet this year by that i mean about five six feet it ain't too bad. Those are my footprints. All right, so watch as you sink in. All right, guys, I got that tree down, and uh, the first one is too big for me to shoulder out of here. I'm gonna have to man up and use the sled towards the end. Maybe some of these other ones I can shoulder, but they're all fairly big. I'll put my hand up to them as I flip the camera around do this this is a couple hundred pound log there's probably no way it just pushed me down into the snow way steep that's the log that's where i just took it down and that's the rest of it right there that i'll have to take out it's probably about 15 feet that will last me a couple of good days maybe a week but i still need more and there is quite a bit of it if you start looking up look at the top look at the trees without the tops those are the ones that I'm talking, those are beetle kills. Those are snapped off. The other parts are under the snow. There was probably maybe another 15 or 20 feet of that tree. And that's the base of it. And that is standing dead, seasoned, ready to burn right now. And there is a good couple of pieces of it up in here, which is really good news for a guy like me that heats with wood. Uh, so that is, that's a big log. Guys, that's, you know, that's, that's a big log. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it in this sled.
Good luck, guys. That's a big log. That's a big sled a man can fit in there. Mule! I gotta get it in there. Or it's gonna tip out. Come on! Come on! Come on, boy! Gotta heat that house! Now I got a chance. Might be able to stop my food from freezing for a week. Welcome to the wood, baby. All right, we got the first one. Oh no, my! Couple of them. Big win! Big win! Big win! It's a big win for the homestead, guys. I'm gonna flip this one in here, and we'll cut up the rest of it. I got to guys. Five more, and that ought to do me for a little while. We're supposed to get some more snow. That means temperatures will be on the up. But I still need these, and it's, it's a big win. It's a big win for the homestead. This is what it's like doing it by hand, guys. This is what it's like. I'm doing that with a Remington Outlaw. All right, I got a good tool set and a cheap chainsaw. That's just what I got. That's the hand that I got right now. And that's the hand that I'm going to play. I'm going to do my best to win. I'm going to take this wood. And I'm going to cut it down into pieces. And I'm going to heat my home. And I'm going to use that cheap chainsaw. And that tool set to keep it moving. That's the best I can do. And it works. So don't you think you can. You can't do this. You can do this. You know we had. Uh, we had it made down there. We had big televisions on the wall in every room. We had electricity. We had big greenhouses in the back. We had chickens, you know. We didn't have much revolving debt. We had a lot of positive income. And we come up here and we don't have nothing but raw property and a shipping container to live in. And it is very, very hard. It is, is very different and very hard to adjust to. But uh, it's worth it, 100%. And we're going to keep doing it. 
And this year, we're going to be less food dependent than last year. Because we can hunt. So not only can we procure wood from our forest, we're going to be able to get meat, and we're going to be able to get fish, and we're going to be able to live a lot better. And that's what we came here to do. This is a win, guys. This is a win. You know, one of my biggest inspirations was my self-reliance. I used to watch that guy for hours just work. He did a lot of things by hand, a lot. And, you know, I respected that a lot. And it really got me to thinking, you know, do I need all the things that I have? Am I happy where I am in life? And what means the most to me? What, what sacrifices am I willing to make to go live that life that I desire? You know, he inspired me. And, and a lot of other people have inspired me that have YouTube channels. And this is what it is. I decided to get up off the couch one day and come do it. So to all those other people up here doing this that have been here a long time, you've inspired me. And I used to watch you and I wanted to come do it. So thank you for showing me that it was possible. Thank you so much for paving the way for a guy like me. Thank you. Keep a watch for moose, they can charge through this kind of snow. I don't know if you know how big Alaskan moose are, but man, <laughs> you see one up close. But a moose will charge right through this three feet of snow, four feet of snow. No thing, man, they got some giant legs. Get this old Remington fired up. Cut a couple more chunks. I hope. We like right up.
got a chainsaw. Yeah. Issue. Gotta go get the scrunch. Take it back in. When I set the saw down, all the tree sap that was in it froze. It was hot when it came out because of the saw blade going through it, but it all froze in place so that the blade wouldn't spin. It's just maybe out of the negatives. I don't think so. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. Got those two big logs that you seen me drag out earlier up here, and the saw is down for now. But I'm not out of wood, so that is, uh, I guess a note to self, don't wait until you're too low to, to have to have it because just about anything can happen. And my saw went down. We have, we have another Husqvarna. It's down as well. It shouldn't be. And that's, that's, we're slipping in that area too. So I got these two nice ones here. They're good. They ain't rotten. That'll be really good firewood. Be enough for a little while until I get that saw up and running with that tool set that I got, that I said I got. <laughs> Hey, it's a cheap saw. You know, I work on them the best that I can. I'm going to have to go back out there and get the sled and the uh, camera stand. But everything's frozen solid on this saw. I set it down for too long and it's frozen in place, like stuck. I have to take it in the house, let it defrost, degum it, put the chain back on, readjust it. Everything froze. So, uh... Welcome to Alaska, man. That's just the way it is. It's really cold up here and everything freezes. All right. So that's one of the ones that I pulled in uh, yesterday. You seen it's one of the bigger ones of the two. I got three more inside of the shelter lodge just in case it snows that two feet that I said. I don't want to have to uncover it, but this was my log pile. It's completely empty. And the other one that you see on the other video is right over there by the tool shed. So I'm going to go ahead and start the chainsaw. Seems to be running all right still. I'm gonna cut some rounds, then I'm gonna take lunch. I'm gonna take the chainsaw apart. I'm gonna clean it up real quick, defrost it real good, blow it out, clean the bar up, re-oil everything, come back out and back into the fray to grab some more.
So that was out there. Now it's in that sled. Now I'm going to take it up to the house and have a bin that I put it in right outside the door so that uh, we don't freeze. Our food doesesn't freeze. <coughs> well, I got some ice. Takes about two or three of them and them good sized logs that I cut. I still got some left. I might have to cut another square or a couple more rounds out of that rest one. And I got them other ones. I'll clean up the chainsaw until I can blaze another path to a couple more beetle kill so I can heat through, you know, February, whatever it is that I have to heat through. Uh, it's in the negatives. All our thermometers are frozen. I don't know. The, the truck said it was negative 22. It was negative 32 down the street the other day. Um, uh, the high is supposed to be maybe a positive, like two, three degrees, five degrees. Uh, it's what I was afraid of. It's that cold, it's that January cold snap. It could stay, you know, 30 below a good while and very, very, very low, very, very low temperatures. Um, if it, if it all in the positive, uh, that's, you know, we got to run a fire. Uh, they stopped pumping propane at 10 below zero. I mean, our house isn't really ins that insulated. It's a, it's a shipping container that's framed out on the inside with some insulation. You know, I mean, we don't have a lot of insulation in there, but we're able to keep it 55, 65 degrees. You know, on these negative nights, maybe 48 degrees, that's not bad. That's not bad. Considering it's negative 35, 37, I don't know. I built this box out of uh, uh, just some metal that was left over. I pulled out the welder and grinder and cut it up and built this here nifty box. I'm going to show you that tool rule that I was talking about, that good set of tools that I have. It's uh, it's an Atlas 46. It's it's proudly made here in the United States. Um, it was a gift from somebody who loves me. Uh, somebody pays attention to everything that I say, and they got it to me for got it for me for a Christmas gift. I, it was something that I couldn't I admired and I couldn't afford at the time, and I'm very very thankful. And I've had it for a lot of years, and uh, it is very high quality. At the time, it was very expensive for what it was, and I just didn't have it. I couldn't buy it for myself. If, for instance, it's, it's full of tools that I got at swap meets, flea markets, and pawn shops. Um, you know, uh, very few things I buy from a big box store. I, I buy a lot of things secondhand. If I can help it, it's just what I can budget. This is the tool rule. It has zippers on it. You see, you just put your, you put all your tools in here. Atlas 46 is the company. Every part of it, the Cordura, everything is made here in the United States. And um, it's, it's been really good to me. It's made here. Ed, you see the other light? That's another thing that I'll, I'll proudly say. There, it's made in the United States. That's it right there. That's that tool set that's been carrying me this long. Ain't too much in it. It's high quality. They make a, a, a large, large line of things. All right, guys. So we're back in the fray one more time. Still got to heat that house. Yesterday, my, say, my, my, my chainsaw went down. It froze up. It had a lot to do with wet chainsaw, um, wet chainsaw dust and the temperatures. Temperatures are below freezing. Uh, and it froze up. I let it sit out too long today. I got to do a couple of things. I got to, um, limb this out and stomp down the snow around it so that the snow doesn't wet the sawdust as I'm cutting, which will then in turn freeze and clog up the chain from moving. I had to disassemble that chain. I should be able to cut three more out of here. Got to make five. 
and I'll march over to that one and that one and I'll load them up. We're supposed to get about 18, between 18 inches and 25 inches of snow. I'm already standing on a few feet of snowpack. The snow gets very deep. It's not as deep as it was last year. We got 15 feet total. So we were about five to seven feet above the floor of the forest. somewhere it won't freeze.
Part to warm me up is still below zero. I'll be sweating in a minute. I had to beat the other ones free with that. Now I got to beat this one free. It'll be the last one. And I got to go after an, uh, another one or two. Or maybe I should cut some rounds first before the chainsaw needs more maintenance. I probably have to cut and fill the wood box in case something happens to the chainsaw so I can buy myself a couple of days to work on it. That's at least enough to heat a couple of days. Now maybe tomorrow I can come back and drop another 15 footer and pull that in there. That's mostly rotten at the top. It's the top where it broke off. I can get that one real quick. Yeah, that'd be worth it. Move this one. I'll see you in I'll see you on our next Alaskan adventure.